You sure as shit can. All right. God damn it. Yeah. So, hello. Trust me, I was gonna hit this guy, this man's face, and like say, and you know, Seriously. take a woman, bleedy woman patch and glue it to his face. That's Damn. what that was gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 the irony is, the irony is, you know, that Russian soldiers are being told because they don't have enough tourniquets. Yeah, they're being told to take tampons, yeah. women's tampons, to war. Actually, and, yeah. It's, and if uh, they get hit with a bullet, they should just put the tampon in the bullet wound. Actually, it's not a bad idea, truthfully, because if you don't have anything by your hands, so if that's you have, yeah. nothing if you, you can do, really. If you have nothing else, I yeah. guess it's better. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh, I have something in my eye, and it keeps buzzing me, and I have no idea what it is. It's Yeah, it's probably your makeup, you know. This is this is awesome. I love this is like a classic Ukrainian kitchen here. It's just the Soviet, Union, Soviet Union education, that, so that's what pushing yeah. it. It's yeah. like we're trying to now make Ukraine a little more progressive country, but uh, uh, it's pretty hard. It yeah. will be a long, hard way. It will well, look, look, understand that. Um, America is not that far behind and the West, you know, like Europe and things are really not that far behind. Um, yeah. Understand that like in Iran right now, they're having these um, they're having yeah. these protests about the hijab, you know, oh, yeah. Be yeah. because, oh. you know, wait, did you did you just get your eye with one of my peppers? No, 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 <laughs> no, uh, if I would, you would hear many nice words. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, I just prepared some more of my, my uh, oh. habaneros and uh, uh, jalapenos and, and um, cayenne peppers. Give today. me one more second. Okay. <laughs> anyway, welcome everybody to our first... Uh, <laughs> our our first video uh where we're going to talk about ukraine and ukrainian culture and this is going to be true ukraine true ukrainian culture we're literally sitting here in a ukrainian kitchen and a ukrainian living room there's you know you're going to get to see what the real ukraine is like it's pretty awesome actually um the my guest that I have here today, who I I hope will become one of our 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 a permanent guest or maybe our host, uh, Alex Alexandra. Uh, also they say Sasha. It's like a nickname, Sasha. Uh, she's a, a, a English speaking Ukrainian. Actually, my neighbor, uh, at my my wife's extra house. So. <laughs> yeah 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 you know i thought i'd do, put in some audio while we're sitting yeah here. so i guess i should yeah. tell everyone <laughs> oh yeah super cool so tell me tell us about yourself tell me because i maybe i'll be the only person who ever <laughs> that would be not too sad eh? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, maybe two or three other people will watch oh. this video so tell me what what tell me about yourself and uh what you want us to know about Ukraine, I guess. Okay, okay. Ukraine actually is pretty difficult country. It have many other sides, bunch of them. Uh, what I can tell, like I'm 17 years old. I guess you know it, and maybe some other people will know it. Like, hey, I'm not 18 yet, but I'm still, I'm still here. <laughs> well, no, actually, I didn't know that. I thought so. You're starting college or or university. Yeah. Uh, you've <laughs> already started university. Yeah. And you're 17. Yeah. Uh, in America, you, you, I mean, you start 18. Yeah. I mean, a bit e earlier. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. See, I didn't know that right there. Okay. Cool. Uh, cause, uh, here, like you, uh, here we have, we divide our school, like on the 
a little school for school like yeah. you name it secondary school and then high school like yeah but it's a little bit like a little school it's for first four years yeah then secondary school that's about uh five six seven eight nine mm -hmm. five years more and then high school is three years more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. up until 11th grade yeah to 11th and, yeah grade. so so that's the thing that like if you're watching and you're an american you should understand that the ukrainian and also the europe generally the european system high school ends at 11th grade and then yeah. you and then you move on to what do you call it college or technical school or uh you, you can know. go to the college or technical school or other stuff after ninth grade after uh -huh. you finish secondary school you don't oh, have so you, so you can just skip high school and yeah, go you can skip high into... school yeah it's okay. go straight to the college but uh still first year of the college you will study this high school program uh-huh uh oh well i mean uh, that sounds good I, if you're not good. skipping a high school like I did, yeah. just, uh, you know, I don't think that it's wasting of time, but right. sometimes I do think so, but yeah. actually it's not. Because after high school, you can pick a higher uh, college. Uh-huh. Like, well, that, that's kind of what I mean is what, I'm, what, I, what I want to get at is if you decide to, you know, from ninth grade, you go into a technical school. Yeah. Does that mean you can never go to university? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Because normally after college, people go to work. Because after night, after secondary school, you can you can go to the different colleges. Like you can not only technical, you can go to the teaching college. Even you can become teacher or dance teacher, or other stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, after eleventh, but you have to do high school if you wanna get on the uh, higher level college. Like like university and other stuff because like I uh I go into the international relationships that means that I have to become a diplomat yeah like if you want to become a journalist diplomat translator maybe mm -hmm. scientific something you have to finish high school because other way it would it would be a lot harder so there's me. this there's kind of a a, a wall between like Gla yeah class system a cl a little bit of a class system. I mean, I okay. So there are good things and bad things about this, and I, yeah. I want I want to make this clear to to you know somebody who watches this, like some of my American viewers, uh, that this system also exists in other countries, like like Germany, for example. Um, uh, I guess so. Yeah, kind of. You know, kind of. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Kind of. yeah after ninth or tenth grade, you have the option to move into a like a more technical or let's in 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 English we would call it uh trades like or, or yeah. the trades like you could be a welder you could be a plumber um, yeah you can be a teacher or truck driver yeah or how the hell names this guy who in the forest watching the forest uh, uh <laughs> you mean somebody who cuts down trees no, who go and he take care of the forest. Oh, a, a ranger, a forest ranger. Uh, yeah, I guess yeah. so. Uh, yeah. You can you can become a designer at tonight's yeah. grade, like or a painter or yeah. photographer in Ukraine. So in in America, we we do have this system, but people don't want to recognize it. Um, what I mean to say is that um we have so you have to go to school for 12 years okay 11 years oh in, in america in america 12 years oh. 12 years oh god damn it i would rent please i would go <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um technically you can you can leave school after 10 years and then you can get and, and actually um two of my children uh, got a, a GED, uh, so they went and took a test. It's yeah. called a GED graduate equivalent diploma, and oh. you can take a test. And then after that test, you can go directly into college. Um, but it's much more difficult to get into college if you have a GED. So now, you guys, when you say college, 
and then you say university. These have yeah, two different meanings. Yeah. yeah, in Ukraine, it's two different meanings. Yeah. Well, uh, explain that to me, because I, I... Like, college is like what you call technical school, or uh -huh. what's that other word, how you call it? Um, uh, 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 what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I said, uh, we have a technical school, we have jobs programs. <laughs> uh, the other word I would say that we have for this is community college. Yeah, something about uh, yeah. yeah, something like this. A university is like on higher level, like uh, it's go if you go for studying because we have opportunity of free studying, and we have a con we name it contract studying. That's mean mm -hmm. you pay payment studying. Mm -hmm. Like uh, university is cost a little bit more if you yeah. not get on the free studying, but uh, the quality of study of education it's higher. In, in theory. Uh, yeah. What I mean to say is that it should be higher. Yeah, should be you, higher. You expect that depends on university. Higher. Like uh, we have a couple, one of them. I can give you some very famous universities. That's uh -huh. give university named of Tarasa Shevchenko. That's yes, one of, of the course. best universities. Yeah, and that's, that's one of the universities where they just, the Russians sent a, a missile very close to this university this week. Yeah. You know. uh, second one, it's in Lviv, the National University uh -huh. named by Ivan Franco. Ivan I, Franco is I, I've old. been there, and to be honest with you, I have I, I teach students um, at both of those universities. Mm -hmm. So, or I, I have in the past, at least. So, yeah, and, and Ivan Franco in, in Lviv, Lviv is in the west of Ukraine. Yeah, I've yeah. I've I've been to that university when I visited Lviv, and it's it's mainly I understand it's mainly an economics university. Yeah, it's mostly like this. Yeah. Uh, third one, very good one too. It's a Kharkov University named Karazina. Oh yes. Yeah. Two very cool university. Yeah. And fourth university to one of the most famous is National University named OS Ganchar in Dnipro. Oh, oh, I didn't know about this. Now I have I have students. That's my university, and it's the ah. in the in the Europe. It's on the uh, out four hundred fifty universities. It's on the eleventh place. Wow, that's I'm shocked. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, that's super awesome. You know, because it's so cheap. I'm sure it's got to be, I mean, compared to American universities, okay? Yeah, uh, if, uh, if you look at that um, for a year, like if studying on the international relationships, it costs yeah. 20, 22,000 a year. That's first year. Every we, year, it's more and more expensive. 22,000. Grivna. <laughs> 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 for one year <laughs> yeah. wow twenty two thousand. okay okay so so for my let's pretend that someone else is watching okay so right now twenty two thousand grivna it's about uh, one thousand dollars one thousand dollars a year yeah it's cheaper than america Holy but shit. the education is pretty good literally and and you know, now in education, it's I guess on the third step in in the Europe. Yeah. Now, now here's the other question that I wanted to ask you about because um, I know that uh, a lot of uh, Ukrainian students, especially the old, my older students who who attended college and university, uh, have told me that there was a lot of corruption in Ukrainian yeah. colleges and universities. Uh, yeah, actually, it is. It uh, depends what university, you know, uh -huh. like, uh, not always actually, but once a year, it's, I'm pretty sure, especially if you want to, if, uh, if you didn't study all year yeah. and you, yeah. know you were just listening and then it's an exam time. Uh -huh. So instead of studying in less three days, students decide I better pay. You just bring a couple of bottles of vodka and 500 grivnas to your professor? Uh, no, 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 no. How does that work? No, no. Our vodka named different. Our vodka named Vorilka. Vorilka. And it's named Samahon. 
Virilka. Vodka is Russian. Yeah? Yeah. Virilka, yeah. that's Ukrainian. I'm glad you yeah, specified. Yeah, but actually, better just bring money and maybe, you know, a good whiskey or something like this. That would work. Whiskey, of well, course. Of course. Brandy or whiskey or maybe <laughs> rum or someone. <laughs> um yeah no i you know uh it, it would i would be lying uh if i said that this kind of corruption does not exist in america it does it absolutely exists in america i guess corruption exists in everywhere yeah every country um but just in different and a different level at the different level exactly so it doesn't exist at the like at the professor level but instead, there just in the past uh, several years, there's been a huge scandal where Hollywood celebrities, they actually went to jail because they uh, they were paying money to universities um, to to make sure that their children got into those universities and got really? you know oh yeah yeah and they they were basically so so. Uh, universities in America, okay, call, and by the way, uh, I want to make sure that you understand, uh, we use the term college and university in America, like, it's the same, it's mixed. I, I understood that, yeah. like, hey, yeah. my dad is so, American, he fucked my brains about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so huge scandals in America where Hollywood celebrities actually went to jail because they were bribing and the way that they bribe um, universities is they 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 donate money to the university. Okay? Donate. Donate. Okay. But in return, their children get to go to this university and they get specially selected. And unfortunately, this in America over the last 100 years, 150 years, has created what you were saying about the the caste the caste system, you know where yeah. if if you if you are a rich child, then you can go to the university with other rich children. And yeah, 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 yeah. We have something similar to it, but not exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's you know it's a huge it's a huge problem, you know. I, I, this is an important point that I want to make uh, as we as we um, kind of, you know, talk about these things in our channel uh, is, is that, um, yeah, Ukraine has corruption. Um, but yeah, but actually, it's not too bad. It was a lot worse a couple of years ago. Well, I think that Ukraine is working really hard to fight against corruption, you know really to fight against corruption and actually i can give you a live example about corruption uh -huh. my friend you remember anya yeah the i met her long, yeah, long sure. black hair girl. yes anya yes met her yes she went into odessa university and uh she paid for the studying and she paid for the dorms because university promised we have dorms but figure out that the university renting those dorms and and anytime they can throw her out. And especially if the university if the university see you smoking, drinking, oh wearing wearing wrong clothes, using wrong words. So they're looking for went. any reason to throw her out because yeah, and, she's one of the free people. Uh and no, she paid for the college. Oh, oh, okay. And if she, they will throw her out, they're not going to give her back money back. Oh, classic. Yeah, totally classic. But in same time, and they have they named it to keep the reputation of the university. Actually, that's the stupidest thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know, maybe my university it's a little bit more kind, but. Yeah. Uh, in I studied at the diplomat area. She studied at uh -huh. the police policeman area. Uh huh. Uh, actually, I'm the jurist. Oh, she interesting. Studied. So, like a lawyer, we would say. Uh, yeah. Uh, not the lawyer. Lawyers who protecting, I guess. Yeah. No. Uh, no. It's it's all kind of the same. Oh, a lawyer yeah, is, lawyer. is okay. any any person. And uh, like I'm studying at the international relationships, and like we have a lot easier system, like. 
you smoking? Don't smoke on the lesson. Lessons. Like wear what you want, but you know not to shirt skirts and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like and you can talk what you want, depend if you don't use bad words as lessons. No, that's just simple. What? Like I know that it is. Oh, is is Joe there? Yeah. Oh, hi Joe. Hello. Hey. hey. Joe. <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to be near me. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, so he's not happy. Oh uh, yeah. So it so it goes. So it goes. I told you you have a cold, so you're not. Happy. Oh yeah, I'm not happy. Either. I hope it's not COVID. No, it's not. It's just you know climate stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's the season, right? My time awesome. of year. His time of year. So I'm I'm going to uh pause our recording right here, or or stop okay. it because. I, I don't want to overwhelm. I think this is enough. I, I don't want to overwhelm our computer, my computer. And yeah, I, understand. Um, I I think this is this is an awesome video to to upload. Um, yeah, I, I think so too. Yeah, totally. Like this is Ukraine. This is the real talk about Ukraine. And I think this is gonna be gonna be fucking awesome for sure. Oh, you yeah. just very peaceful guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's super cool. Okay, so I'm I will stop recording. Boom.